decision to not suspend, which came down yesterday, will, in his words, haunt the league. Your thoughts? Well, I was watching the game when he said that. He also said he thought Draymond should have gotten a two-game suspension. So I obviously disagree, and I think there would have been no precedent whatsoever in the league for giving him two games. And the honest answer is it was a close call, not to, to consider giving him two games, but as to whether he should have gotten a one-game suspension. I'd say the only thing in response to Jeff and Mark Jackson and Mike Breen, who also spoke on this issue, and all of your commentators, who I respect tremendously, is they don't have access to all the information that's available to us. We do a full investigation, and in fairness to our officials as well, what they don't have, even though this went to the replay center, of course, and they decided a flagrant one during real time during the game, even with use of replay, they came out at a flagrant one. What we do after the game is we have an investigator with the league office, and we do interviews. So we're able to talk to the players who were involved in the incident and also interview the officials because what we look at is the totality of the facts, the entire situation. And Jeff also said on air that you can't possibly know what's in someone's heart. Intent. You can't know intent. The fact is, though, we have to do our best to determine what intent is because, of course, we see in games, like take blows to the head, for example. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you punch someone in the face, you get suspended. But we've seen in many series, including this year's playoffs, where guys have incidentally smacked people in the face. So same outcome, but different penalty. And so in this case, and even, even while they're saying you can't know intent, when they say, is it a natural basketball play, for example, mm -hmm. that's a form of intent. Uh, the suggestion is if it's a natural basketball play, you're not intending to hurt anybody. You're not intending to kick someone. So in this case, what we're able to do is, one, interview those involved. So the officials have a sense from the floor, and I think that's important because they have context. They're hearing the players talk. The players are talking to them. So that's, that's a set of information that's available to us. In addition, we're able to see a lot when Draymond Green says, that's a natural basketball play for me. I won't, I won't kick you. No, but, uh, thank you. I right, appreciate but that. But where he, he flails his leg out, for example, that's something we can look at and see, is that a typical move on his part? And again, I acknowledge a close call. I don't agree with Jeff, obviously, in terms of his ultimate conclusion, but I have tremendous respect for him and all those people involved in the game who say if it were their decision, they would have suspended him. In our case, we went through this investigation and we ultimately determined that upgrading from a flagrant one to a flagrant two was appropriate, but in this case, we obviously did not suspend him.